So everybody, welcome to uh, another edition of our Drive Time video calls, and I'm so, so happy to welcome Albert Webster to the show. Albert, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. Keep insane, keep insane. Now, uh, Albert, I obviously know what you do in motorsport, but for those who don't know, Albert, what do you do? Uh, I'm in the BRSEC Junior Fiesta Championship this year. Fantastic. And is this going to be your first season? Uh, yeah, it is. It's first season in it. Now, I know the, the Fiesta Junior Championships very well and, and Laura Payne, of course. In fact, it was her birthday the uh, the other week. So happy birthday, yeah. Laura. Uh, we filmed with you guys last season. So what, what is it that attracted you to the, the Fiesta Junior Championship? Uh, well, it was obviously fast and it was a next step up from where I was. Uh, with the short oval, I was on dirt at the time. And oh, then wow. I, so I went from that to we were looking because uh, it was quite uh, similar every time. So we were looking at what to do next and they came up and we thought they were a very good idea and a good formula. Absolutely, it is. So you mentioned there before now, obviously moving into to cars and track cars, you were doing uh, dirt ovals. Um, yeah. What attracted you to that? What, what was, was it just a bit of fun or was it, yeah, looking to seriously make the grade? So my uncle and my dad started in 2010, I think it was, and then they did short oval, and then I started. Um, we got into racing from my granddad. He and my great granddad oh, wow. they rally and BTCC. So racing is certainly in the family blood, then I take it. That that's uh, that's superb. Now, um, Albert, you've obviously done a bit of racing in in your short career. Of course, you're only you're only 14, I believe. So you're a very very young man very exciting future ahead of you but where has been your favorite place to go racing to date i mean it can be a it can be a dirt oval if you like um probably france actually on this it was my first time on a proper track and it was just it was amazing I'll let you into a little secret as well. Brands Hatch was my first track as well that I went out on. Have you done the GP circuit or is it just the Indy so far? Uh, it was just the Indy so far as we're racing on that fully this year. It's something else, isn't it? And I, th I don't think people quite realise Paddock Hill Bend, just how steep it is. Can you remember the first time you went down Paddock Hill Bend? Yes, I, I came out the pits. I was in a Citroen 206, I think it was. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. No, Peugeot 206. And then I went came out of the pits and went down it and my stomach just went from inside me I just I was so scared of going down but then just building my confidence up from there yeah I was exactly I remember that so well as well my stomach just goes from here up to here doesn't it <laughs> next to no yeah. time <laughs> so uh, Albert look uh, let's let's do this you and me we're at Brands Hatch okay we've got the whole circuit to ourselves and we've got 10 laps around Brands Hatch Indy circuit and behind us is a garage and in that garage I say to you I can make any car appear it can be past present uh road car race car you name it complete fantasy land here what car are you taking out around brands hatch for 10 laps uh it'll probably be the amd's btcc honda civics oh, i yeah. think they're fast and they're just they look really fun uh, yeah absolutely now i i actually own a honda civic type s and it's it's I've never I don't I dare take it out on track. So imagine doing it in a BTCC car. <laughs> It'd be something else, wouldn't it? Uh, what's the goal for you then? Is is that where you want to get to then, uh, Albert? Is BTCC a target or? or... Uh, yeah, it's target. Go through there. Hopefully, get enough money, obviously, to get into it for a season or two, and then probably hopefully like move on into professional driving and then get paid for it. Hopefully, make a living from it. Absolutely. Well, I can see from your T-shirt there, there, there's a lot of brands and names on there. Is there anybody you'd like to give a bit of a shout out to? Obviously, family, friends um, and sponsors and companies who've helped you along on, along the way? Yeah, so obviously AMD, they've helped me for five years now, five or six years. And then my dad, my uncle, my granddad and everyone, um, all of AMD, everyone who's helped me. And then Jake, uh, Jake Hill, Jody Famine, Mike Bushel. Yeah. They've helped a lot this year. Uh, and then Laura and Greg from BTC, BRCC, sorry. Yes, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. So, um, look, I know the season's on hold in a minute, but I think we are going to get back racing at some point. Hopefully July, fingers crossed. We'll see. Um, but you're looking forward to getting back out on track. Is your car all ready to go? Is it prepped and, yeah. and shiny? And... Yeah. yeah, we got it ready just before the first meeting and then they cancelled it. So we had to put it away and then we've had to just try to keep it clean. 
it's a shame actually because I was due to be at that meeting as well I was doing some work with the catering so I was due to be there so we would have met actually which is um which is a shame but we will we will meet trackside sooner rather than later now look in your racing career what we like to do in these drive time videos is just have a bit of a giggle uh, have a bit of a laugh as well it's just a light-hearted chat uh, during your racing career to date have you done anything out on a circuit that you thought oh no I can't believe I did that what, what's been the most embarrassing moment out on circuit for you so far um well when i did the short oval and the junior hot rods i was like going around the outside of someone and i got a bit impatient i went around the outside and span out i was leading the race and i span out it going into i think it was third to last lap or something that's um so, that's actually yeah. that's a good sign though albert that's a good sign would you say you're more of a a max verstappen than a bit of an aggressor out on the track yeah i've i've always just gone for it and hope for the best that's what I like to say. Proper racing driver. That, that's why you're a proper racing driver. Now, I really appreciate your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure talking. One thing we always do is we end on probably the most important question you'll ever be asked in your life. We are running a tally for this. And once we finish the drive time series of calls, we will be announcing which is the favourite biscuit for motorsport drivers in the UK. So, Albert Webster, if you were a biscuit, what biscuit would you be and why? Uh... Chocolate hobnob, I think, because they're good and they're outgoing. I like that. And it's got chocolate in. Anything in chocolate for me yeah. is an absolute winner. Uh, look, Albert Webster, it's been such a pleasure. I really, really can't thank you enough for your time today. I'm so excited for your career. I do follow the Fiesta Junior Championship closely. Um, you do have a website as well, don't you? Sorry, before we go, let's just uh, yeah. let's give that a plug. What is your website? Albertwebster.co.uk fantastic we'll bring that up on the screen so go and check albert out also if there's anybody who's interested in sponsoring and getting in touch with a very talented young up-and-coming driver please do get in touch with albert and his family they're absolutely lovely people also albert webster take care won't you stay safe and i'll see you trackside yeah, sooner you. rather than later thank see you, you later